Okay, question six. Use the substitution to integrate this. The first thing we have to do, we know this, the first thing we have to do is to take our expression there and differentiate it. So du by dx is two. Now remember what we're trying to what we're trying to do with this is replace dx. And if there's nothing obvious appearing in here, rewrite this so you've got the dx on its own. So if we rearrange this, it's a half du is dx. So that's going to take part in our substitution. <coughs> and we also have got the limits to sort out. If x equals 0, u is 1. If x equals a half, then we've got u, which be a half times 2 plus 1 is going to be 2. So we're going to change the limits as well. So our integral, oh, is there anything else we need to work out? Well, the 2x plus 1, is that sorted, isn't it? The top line is 4x minus 1. Um, I, I need to write that in terms of u. So if I rearrange that, what I've got is that 2x is u minus 1. So 4x is 2u minus 2. If I just double both sides. So 4x minus 1 is 2u minus 3, if I take 1 away from both sides. I think I'm ready to do my substitution. The integral, I've changed the limits from 0 to a half to 1 to 2. The top line, instead of 4x minus 1, I now know is 2u minus 3. The bottom line, instead of 2x plus 1 to the 5, is u to the power of 5. I'm replacing dx with a half of du. I'm actually going to write it like that. Because I can take a whole factor outside the integral. So a half of the integral du. Now, um, this is the tricky bit because, of course, we're supposed to have made this a lot easier by doing the substitution. And the bad thing that can happen now is you can look at this and try and come up with some elaborate way of trying to solve this. But this is actually, this could have been, it's easy enough to, to not notice, but this could have been a core two integration question now. We would split up the fraction. We would think of it being 2u over u to the 5 minus 3 over u to the 5 to u. Now you might not have needed to put that line in. Sorry, I 2u over u to the 5, if we sort that out, that's 2u to the minus 4. And this is 3u to the minus 5. I haven't integrated yet. So now we're ready to integrate. We're going to be careful with the negative signs. We have 1 to the power, divide by the new power. Still got that half there. Add 1 to the power, that's uh, 2u to the minus 3 <coughs> divided by negative 3. Add 1 to the power there, that would make it minus 3u to the minus 4 of negative 4 between 1 and 2. I'm still leaving the half in front, I've not forgotten about it. Um, I, I maybe wouldn't have written this many lines, but just to see what we've got going on here, we've got minus 2 over 3u cubed, haven't we? And this would be plus 3 over 4u to the 4. Now I am going to put the limits in. Notice we've still not lost the half. We've got minus 2 over 3 times u cubed, we've 2 cubed is 8, so that's minus 2 over 24. 3 over 2u to the 4, well, 2 to the power of 4 would be 16. 4 lots of that is 64. And we're subtracting minus 2 over 3, plus 3 over 4. At this point, hopefully you can carefully put that into the calculator with the fractions button and all of that. And, uh, and it will give you a nice answer. This comes out as being minus 
over 384. Um, you know, often we expect that we're going to get a really nice answer that we can feel confident about at the end of it. That probably isn't a nice answer we can feel confident about. But it is the right answer. We need to be confident that what we've done was correct all the way along. One final thing. Shh, final thing is, don't be put off by it being negative. This wasn't about an area. It was just about the evaluating an integral. And that can give us a negative answer. The mark scheme was a little bit generous that said that if you then panicked about it being negative, and made it positive so you felt better about things, you still got the mark. It was a, an ISW, ignore subsequent working bit. So you got away with it if you turned it into a positive. Um, but that's where we are. Okay? Great. And that's maths.